and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And I, uh, I did look into refined relocation, and it appears that the wireless block extenders are thankfully exactly what I wanted. So, we need an advanced filter block extender, which means we need an advanced block extender. Uh, which means we need a regular block extender, which means we need redstone blocks. So, I'm going to need two of these. Okay. So, how many blocks do we have? Four? There we go. So, I'm going to need... Ah, uh, right. So, we'll make four of these. These are the block extenders. Normally, you would have to place them directly against, but that's what we're seeking to avoid here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up through these different levels of them till we get to the orange stage. And then we're going to use some diamonds to make two wireless ones. Now, in order to use that, we also need a linker. And there's a very good reason why I'm making these. Now, as you can see, I've got some aluminum on me. Now, I don't need those ones at the moment. But we're going to cut these down. And we're going to need... Yeah, that looks good. Move. So, I built another room over here. And this room is going to serve a purpose. Now, this is the middle of the room here. And what I want to do is I'm going to put that there. And see, there's not any good way to place that. Although, technically, I can do this. Uh, I'm holding control right now. That's placing it on the top side of the given block. And... Now, maybe I can do something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to shift a block around in order to place this, unfortunately. But, if you haven't been able to figure it out yet, you may have noticed my mine chem stuff in my inventory. Whoops. And there's a power cable down there. So what I want to do is I want to move the chemical synthesis machine... Uh, we'll put that here. We're going to put the chemical decomposer right there. And the inconvenient thing about that hole is it's under the table. So, there's what we're going to do. We're going to take these two blocks here. So, these are the wireless block extenders. They function as you would imagine they would. And we will shift-right-click the synthesis machine. Okay, as you can see, that is now linked with that. And that is linked with that. So if I were to get a piece of conduit here, uh, let's get two just in case, even though I think I only need one. Those should now have power. Aha! Ah stored 600,000. Stored 600,000. So, what that does is that allows me to have this nice little environment here where I can have these. And I can use this now as. Basically, what I'm making there is I'm making a, uh, basically a laboratory. So, I'm going to want a brewing stand, which I've got plenty of. And you know what? I'll take two of them, because why not? But, uh, that said, now, a bunch of those other blocks are really cool and stuff, but they're not terribly useful to me at the moment. Uh, but, what I do want is I want to make a microscope from Minechem. Now, this is a bit of a pain. Uh, we need two of these. And we need one of these. And that should allow us to make this. And then we can combine those together like that. Now, that's only so useful to us. Uh, what we also need is a chemist journal. Or, if you've been playing... Elder Scrolls games and been around Nords, it's definitely a urinal. But, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the brewing stands there. And, now, it feels a bit crowded there. So what I think I'm going to do 
So I'm going to do what I was originally planning and put it in between the brewing stands. Now this is really cool, right? So say I open up this and I say I want some, you know, a piece of iron. What I can do is if I put the book in here and put the item in this side, as you can see, I get this over here. It says that it takes 16 iron in order to make it. And that's in the chemical synthesis machine. In the chemical decomposer, I also get 16. So, as you can see, this is owned by me. It says it'll take 10,000 Minecraft jewels in order to make it. Uh, and it doesn't say what it needs for decomposing. But, now if we open this up, we can physically click on this, right? And it'll show us what we get here and what it would take to make it. So, then we can go over here. And you see how it says iron ingot? That's because that's what I've selected. If I put it in there, bam, fills that in, take it out, it's gone. So I find this to be really cool because what I can do now is, like, for example, I can take a piece of wool and I could put the piece of wool in there, right? And now I should be able to open this up. And when I click this, it's now wool. So what you can do is... I mean, you can consider it close to what Thawncraft does with stuff, where it, you know, gives you the resources and whatnot. But in this case, you're analyzing them, saving them in a book, and using it for simplicity of combining them later. But, as I said, the whole reason I wanted to refine the relocation is so I could get this setup going and have these powered. Because I have this idea, and I'm curious as to what kind of shelves we have. Because I know there's the... See, these are okay. I can make these work. But I, what I honestly would like is something like the bookshelves, but also like these shelves at the same time, if that makes any sense. Uh, basically, what I want is something that I can... Uh, I have words... I'm having issues saying the words. Oh, need bottles. There's something that I can, you know, put stuff on, but they actually have a proper backing. Uh, four should be good for now. Because I want them to have a backing like the bookshelf, but function like these do. Eh, maybe, maybe that's not enough. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to store some potion components and whatnot on here, and I don't think we have any actual potions. No. But what we could do, for example, is take, say, a stack of redstone, a stack of gunpowder, that's gunpowder again, glowstone. I uh, don't really have a source of nether ward at the moment. Can I not put these in here? Uh, I probably have to use the uh, the regular shelves, but yeah, you can store potions on these. So I'll be able to. What I can do is I can make the other shelves that are in here, and I can actually store the materials on them. I know it's not really necessary to do this, but no, I don't want a lectern. I want some oak shelves. So. Basically, this is sort of like an alchemy lab I've got set up over here, and on either side of these, I can put these materials in. Eventually, I'll have nether wart right there, so that I'll be able to make whatever I want there. And then I can have, you know, the different potion materials, so I can actually craft the potion stuff as well. And... I, I need to think of some more things I can actually put in here. Like, maybe some bookshelves would be a good idea. Like, some of the, the other shelves and just fill them with random nonsense books. Just do a whole bunch of level one enchants or something. But, yeah. Another thing I want to make is I want to upgrade my laser setup. Now, the downside to that is that in order to upgrade the laser setup... We need an enchant mover. Come on. Now the enchant mover requires an enchanting table. So obviously we need one of those. 
but it needs an anvil, which we have, redstone diamond chip sets, which I was making. We need four more lasers, so I'll take those. We need an assembly table, which means I have to go through the long list of gears, which is a complete and utter pain. Stone gear. I'm skipping an iron gear somehow. Why are you going to that? Oops. You should not be skipping over iron. Why have I, why was I not just crafting it this way to begin with? Oh, and I apparently had iron gears. And a diamond gear. God, assembly tables are a pain. Uh, what all are we missing for that? Oh, come on. We need a chest. We need a crafting table. And unfortunately, we need a redstone chipset. So, at least that's simple, and it should be fairly quick. Hello? Ah, here we go. So, it takes 100,000 Minecraft jewels. Is that, am I reading that right? 10,000 Minecraft jewels. Uh, this will take 320,000, so it will take a while. So, I'll probably have a break there. And, so, now we should be able to throw this together. So, we will take that. Now, obviously, we need the diamond chipsets. Uh, I don't have any more up here with me, but I was making a whole bunch, so they should still be down there. Oop, that is not how you spell anvil, so we need one of those. And then we need the enchanting table that I should have left in my inventory. So, that's all well and good. That'll get us moving on that. And I should probably get that cooking before we get too much farther, because that is going to take a while. So we need, what, four of these? Oh, move. Bam. So, I don't know, if somebody wants to do the math on how long that's going to take, it'll take a while. So I'm going to leave that going. I'm going to get as much done as I can before that, you know, while that's going. And the next thing we're going to actually need is... It's actually part of Cory Plus. All of this stuff is part of Cory Plus. The whole point I want of that is so I can make the Laser Plus, which is pretty simple. It just takes a metric ton of power. But it's amazing once you get it set up. Once you put full upgrades on these lasers, I think they do like 156 Minecraft jewels each but you have to actually have the enchants from the uh, I'm looking for a word diamond pickaxes and as such I thought this was actually going to take an enchanting table well convenient do I have everything now? oh I don't have these this is the auto enchanter. Huh. Now, the cool thing about the auto enchanter is it works off of liquid XP, and we're going to need a diamond pickaxe. Alright, so there's our diamond pickaxe. What's really cool about this, and we're going to actually go up one level. I've done a lot of work on this level. Uh, I've got these rooms mostly set up. Ran out of stuff I had in my inventory at the time. Got the ceilings in. Don't have the doors in yet. Don't really have these expanded. I don't believe I have the wiring in either. But what I can do... Uh, I think I break here is going to get sucked into the network. Oop. Oh, I was worried about that. I did, in fact, break a piece of cable. Conveniently, I brought a piece. Useful. So, I'm going to pop this out, and I'm going to get a piece of conduit, uh, a regular fluid conduit, we're only going one, 
in terms of distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this here. This is going to be an extract line. Uh, right? Why are you not? Oh, right, because this is the sides. Uh, ooh, what side is that? South? Unfortunately, I think I accidentally... Hmm... Hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, new plan? Whoops. Uh. So I'm going to need to get some liquid. Do is my oh, oh my portable tanks in my inventory. Uh, this wasn't my original plan, but I suppose it's going to have to work. Uh, this is how I was spawning squids. I had water in here, and then the water would flow them out and kill them automatically. Uh. I hate to break things, but sometimes you've just got to break things so you can access things. Oh, exactly a bucket. Convenient. Yes, 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 yes. I'm aware that you'll eat that. That's fine. So it was south we needed it? Oh. So now I should be able to throw this in here. Temporary setup, of course. But, as you can see, level 30. Now, this is going to actually take... Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what that boils down to. Something like two minutes, I think. There's... That's, that's measured in ticks. And there's 20 ticks in a second whenever a Minecraft server is operating normally. Which, if we do slash TPS, you can see we're operating at 20 ticks per second. So, that'll take roughly two minutes. Uh, this is going to spawn some squids because, of course, it split the liquid evenly. Oh, ooh. And... I put a drum here. Yeah, 144 buckets. I went and filled out the oil thing over here. I got all the oil out of it. As far as I know. With the pump. And... Yeah. I guess now we are just waiting on things. Uh, how are you doing on progress? Ooh. Two-thirds of the way. That's only taken about eight minutes or so. What can we do for four minutes? Well. Well. That is a question. I definitely wouldn't mind some ideas on this room. Oh, I know what some of the other things I was going to be putting in here was. And I might have to actually make some custom textures for it, because... The textures that come with it are, in my opinion, terrible. I, I hate to say it, but it's terrible. So, as you can see, advanced genetics. But I hate its textures with a passion. They're so bad. And that, that said, I want to make all new textures for all these machines. I just want to completely replace them. They're made with iron. They're going to have a very iron texture. They'll match in with a lot of my other machines. But I hate their textures so much. So I'm going to make new textures for that before we actually get into making those. Uh, these are part of... 
Advanced Thaumaturge, maybe. Some of them. Some of them might be part of not Advanced Thaumaturge. Well, yeah, they're probably all part of Advanced Thaumaturge, because I had at Advanced in there. Are you done yet? Ah. Okay. So. Is there... Uh, for the mob systems out there, I think I might actually hook into the AE network with the... Uh, I'm going to put a chest for each mob set, if that makes any sense. Each, like, category grouping of two, or maybe even, maybe even an entire side, but that, uh, I'm not so sure about that one. So I'll probably do it on mob groupings, and then I can keep those out of the main system as well, so I don't have to worry about overflows for a long time. Uh, this is going to be for whenever we eventually make the space station, which I haven't gotten around to doing anything for. Oh, we are done. Good. Uh, how is the enchant doing? Unbreaking three. Well, that's a shame. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, oh, I just realized that I might be missing things to move on with my life here. But, if I pick up these four lasers, throw those in here, it was at Quarry Plus, although we're just going to do at Quarry, and uh, not you. 32 glowstone, 64 golden kinesis pipes, and 64 glass. So, I believe they're eight each. So, we need eight of those. Uh, where is my gold? Sixteen of those. Sixty-four of those. And thirty-two of those. So, if I put that there, that there, that there, do that. I get 64. Bam. 64 golden kinesis pipes. So I should be able to throw all these in here. And that's going to take a very long time. Because we've cut our power in half, for one. And, yeah. Uh, I believe I'm breaking lowers the power requirement. You know what? I can afford to make another diamond pick. Well, there's no reason to. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, as you can see, you would just put the pick in on this side and your thing on this side and you move it over. I believe efficiency increases the speed, or in this case, the power draw and the power send. Uh, I do not believe Silk Touch and Fortune will apply to this given device. That's more for the uh, Quarry Plus and a few other things. Uh, I do kind of want to make a refinery from Buildcraft, so I suppose we'll make one of those real quick. And then we will cut out. So, more diamonds getting spent. Oop. Gold gear. Diamond, 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 diamond. Bong, 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 bong. Hey, bong. So, oops. So obviously we need a regular refinery, and I've been kind of wanting one of these, because while the refinery from Galacticraft is nice, it's... I don't like its restrictions. And by restrictions, I mean the whole where I can pull things in and out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disable... Uh, I'm going to set that to extract only. That's close enough to disable. This will be insert. And this is going to have to process through the oil that it currently has. Once it finishes, I'm going to move to the refinery. Which, if I'm right, I should actually be able to just position it right down there. Uh, I'm curious. Uh what I'm curious about is, I know that you can't input into the sides, whoops, but can you input 
into the bottom of this. Uh, it looks like you might actually be able to, to be honest. Oh yeah, yeah, you can input into the bottom of it. Cool. So what I should be able to do here then is I'll be able to put an oil drum somewhere. The oil drum is going to be something that's going to come and go, like the Karma Chameleon. And that's going to sit there till it finishes. Uh, we do not need this anymore. I have no idea if this is going to support uh, what I'm going to try and make it do, but we're going to try. Uh, no. Conduit binder. Conduit facade. Uh, I'll just put a few in my inventory because I know I'm going to need them eventually. And so I'll pull that block out, put that in, put that in. Okay, and then I'll throw that back in there because why not? Okay, so now I should hopefully be able to pop this out and put this in here. Uh, why does that look... It shouldn't look different. Hmm. Strange. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run... I think I only need two conduit. That's going to go in there. That will go on there. And then that should power that without seeing anything through the floor. I wonder why the concrete came out lighter. That's strange. Not very strange. I'm going to throw this bucket in there. Uh, I don't need the linker at the moment. But you can be sure that we'll end up doing more with refined relocation later. Uh probably mostly with you know I could ooh, I wonder how well refined relocation works with all of this stuff although I like mariculture for my processing but unfortunately it has really nasty frame hits for some reason and I have no idea why What I'm going to do, uh, how long are you going to take to finish? Uh, it's going to take a while. Whoops. You don't go there. Whoops, 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 whoops. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the time as well, and I'm going to wait for the laser to finish, because I want to give you an idea of how that stuff works. And then, yeah, it's going to take a very long time. So I'll be back with you in just a little bit. We're back and got about a minute and a half to go, but it has finished. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think I had the pick in here, and as you can see, it ejects the pick. Uh, that said, where did it just eject that one to? What is going on here? I have no idea where that just went. Pick? That one ended up in there. I have no idea where the other pick went, so I made a new one. Uh, luckily I got efficiency 4 and unbreaking 5. Yes, you heard me. No. Efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. As you can see, it does not damage the pick. It simply removes the enchants. I think you can put efficiency 5 on this, but uh, it's not really going to be necessary. Uh, that stupid machine picking things up on me again. So, we're going to need a stack of glass plus uh, 8 glass. We're going to need 16 gold. We're going to need a stack of redstone. And we're going to need some 32 glowstone. 
So, let's quickly get the uh, kinesis pipes made again. And, alright, oh, I'm going to have to reorder my lasers. Because it felt the need to steal them from me. Go. Yeah, look at that rate. 67.2 on one laser. So this is going to take roughly a quarter of the time it took for the previous one, which was... We're not discussing that. Yes, that's how long the other one took. We're not discussing that. So I'm going to put that there. And uh, I figured out why that one block was lighter. The answer is I had accidentally used a tin decoration block, so I resolved that. And I expanded this. This continues the whole way around. Yes, this is what I was doing while I was waiting for that laser. Uh, I rearranged these a bit because I thought this looked better. I put in extra tables around the side. I like the aluminum, but I'm thinking that maybe it's not such a good choice once I get it up against the wall, so I'm not sure on that. Uh, I took out one of the brewing stands and replaced it with the alchemy set. I took out two of these shelves and I replaced them with the regular shelves, so that way I can put in uh, alchemic chemistry stuff in here as well. And I'm not going to have that many potions. So, I figure I'll be able to get my advanced genetic stuff along the wall there. Uh, this seems to stop really sharply, but I'm not sure what I can do about that, because I don't want to continue it through, because it's supposed to be like an ultimate clean room. Uh, maybe I'll actually find something I can put in here as sort of a buffer block or a stopper, you know, basically signifying end of normal path. But down quite a bit on these. I refilled them uh, previously, and it was up back up to 20. I've used 12 stacks again filling out this hallway, which is insane. But I am quite happy with that. Uh, I'm sure my reserves of stone... Stone's doing okay, but uh, my iron is back under a 1,000. And my aluminum, or aluminium in this case, as you can see I was making blocks, it it's really low. So, having a very bad day there. Still got plenty of time in there. Why don't I just look in that? But, as I said... We're pretty much out of time. Uh, tell me what you think about this room. I might find a different uh, block to use for the tables. Because, I mean, it matches the walls just a little bit too much, I think. So, I don't know. The important thing is that I believe I have micro blocks turned off in the listing, yeah. So,. Whatever it is, it's probably going to have to support micro blocks because I actually like how the tables look. I'm just not sure if I like the block choice. Uh, I did have to relink these when I rem uh, when I moved them, so that was a bit of a pain. And I'm going to have to get more of these lights, but that shouldn't be an issue. I just have to go to the Nether and get more of the uh, glow shrooms for the green dye. Uh, I'm probably going to get more. I this thing cannot be helped. No matter what I do to it, like, it... Really? Really? Now you actually turn when I play... You know what? Just, just, just leave. Nobody likes you. Just, just leave Soldering Station. But, uh... I think that's good. I put the shelves in here, because... I don't know, they look like shelves. Cause why not? Uh, I'll be able to move these with refined relocation, because I'll be able to just put them next to each other, and it shouldn't really matter. So... That's good. Uh, I got the refining station set up. As you can tell, this drum is now empty. Uh, I was waiting for this to empty before I picked it up. The It was pumping into this. And then I have a liquid specification in here that's moving. This is taking the fuel out. The one right next to it is the one that's handling the refinery pretty simple. It's the same as anything else you've seen me make in this. There we go. 
And yeah, as you can see, now that's the proper color again. So I need to come up with a better place for the dimensional transceiver. I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to put it in the actual room it belongs in at some point. Give it a view from down here that it matches. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to fill in that hole. Uh, I think we're going to go with mechanism three times or tripling, although I'm not sure on that just yet. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough space in here to do the engineer's toolbox tripling, so we're probably going to stay away from that. But mechanism offers up to five times, but that takes a lot of work. But we have gone a lot farther than I intended. Uh, I've got plenty of expansion space down there for stuff for other mods now. And in case you're wondering, I have a plan to go out this way. And over that way, I will build the Galacticraft area. But I will have to create that another day. Uh, depending on how long it takes me to make stuff on the live stream that I will eventually get around to, I swear, I may end up working on that on the live stream as well. So, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.